Hey guys, this is going to be a long one. It's going to be long for a variety of reasons, but um, the TLDR version, for those of you who don't have time to watch through this whole thing, thank you for clicking anyway, by the way, um, is subscribe. Subscribe to me, subscribe to anybody on YouTube that you like what they're doing, especially if they are a small content creator. Um, they need your support right now more than ever. Um, and here's the long version. So, those of you uh, who are not like following the YouTube news um, probably aren't even really aware of what, all of this, but basically on Tuesday evening, I received an email from YouTube um, saying basically, you, we have changed the criteria for what it means to be a YouTube partner. Um, basically partner and being able to get money off of your videos by showing ads on them. That's what that means. Um, those are the same thing. They've changed the rules so that I no longer meet those rules. And so as of February 20th, I will no longer be able to get ad revenue on my ads. Um, or I won't no longer be able to get ad revenue on my videos at all. Um, this is just going to be a hobby, um, and until I can build up like the threshold that they set for being big enough to being a big enough deal. I mean, and I guess I get that they have to change their criteria because they have advertisers breathing down their neck about the whole adpocalypse thing. Um, people are saying that this is a reaction to Logan Paul. It's not, um, it, it's something that was started earlier and, that's a, a separate issue that, that I think they're working with uh, bigger people. I, I, something about manual review of videos before they get promoted or something like that. But this is on the low end. This is content creators like me who have um, fewer than a thousand subscribers and less than 4,000 hours of cumulative watch time within the past 12 months. Um, the second one, I'm not there yet, but I will be. It, I'm only not there yet because I didn't really start making videos regularly on my channel until last April. Um, so it hasn't been a full year yet, but if you go by um, like my monthly for like December or for like the last 28 days, you'll see that I'm like right about at that threshold of like minutes viewed, hours viewed per month. Um, so I will get there by like May if I keep it up. Um, where I'm not anywhere close is the thousand subscribers and that just has seemed like such a ridiculous number for so long. And not ridiculous in a way that it was a problem though, just ridiculous in like, wow, someday, someday maybe I'll have a thousand subscribers, but now it's like, well, you gotta get there. Um, I have currently about 350 subscribers and I love and adore every single one of you. Um, I, I have so appreciated the community that we've been building over the last few months, the people who comment on several of my videos, the people who are consistently watching. Um, you really do make my day, comments make my day and I just love getting that feedback from you and just feeling like it's not just me shouting into the void, that you're there too and we're doing this together um, and I appreciate you know, getting video suggestions and getting feedback and ideas and being able to, to feed off of each other and all of that. Um, I think it's been really good, um, but it's gotta get bigger. So um, a lot of the people, these reactions to this news over the last week, like there's various camps. There's the people like me who are just kind of devastated. There's people who are like, you have terrorists, you know, messing up with creators, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm trying very hard not to swear in this video. It's been difficult. Um, it's going to continue to be difficult. I'm, you might find me catching myself. Because I want to make sure that this stays monetized. Because I only have a month before I don't get anything. Um, as I say, so there's some people who are just like angry YouTube. And this is like just another reason to be angry YouTube. But there's a lot of people who meet these criteria who are looking at the rest of us going, what do you have to complain about? And just like completely dismissing the concerns of the people who are actually affected by these changes. 
Um, they're saying that like 90% of the, the channels affected by these changes were making a dollar a month, something like that. I forget what the stats are, but those are the official stats that were released. And I believe it. There are so many channels out there that were partners once a long time ago, haven't you know, uploaded videos in forever. They're not like channels and communities. It's just they're there. Um, and that's all true. But that 10%, it consists of small channels like mine who are trying to build and grow. And like, yes, I know that I'm not making a living here, um, but I'm making more than $1 a month. I'm, I'm going to show you my channel in a little bit. Um, so stay tuned. Um, I'm making about 15, I think, dollars a month, like in the last month. Um, the thing about that though, is that you can't cash out until you hit $100 in your AdSense account. Uh, you can only cash out every $100. And I'm at 80 right now. <laughs> and so I've been building up to this. I've been looking forward and projecting that I was going to be able to get my first YouTube paycheck in like quarter one of 2018. It's not happening. I'm, it's just going to sit there until I can build my community up. And it's, you know, yes, I, I understand, I guess. Theoretically, the um, the point of view of the people who are saying this is no big deal. Because yes, I'm not making that much, and really it is a hobby, but it was a hobby that I was getting a little bit of a kickback for, and that kept me going to a certain extent. Um, it's, it's the two things. It's like it's the community who expect a video three times a week, and it's the, you know, the dollar I get for every video in the first month or so. Like, it's, it's not a lot, but it's something. Um, and it's, it's something that like, I was looking f at the future and I was like, you know, pipe dreams someday, it would be great if I could make enough on YouTube that I could, you know, be a stay at home mom who YouTubes. Um, I have a couple cousins who I think that's, that's not all they do, but you know, they, they make quite a lot, like enough to supplement their family and support their family. And it's, it's been good. Um, so, you know, that's the future, distant future pipe dream. But it feels like, um, in the meantime, I was getting a little bit of, like, monetary reinforcement, right? Now, I don't know, as an aside, how you guys feel about ads in general, um, but I've, on YouTube, come to accept them as something that it's, like, it's, it's for a good cause, you know? Like, an ad on YouTube, at least you know that, like, more than half of that is going to the person who's making the thing that you're enjoying um, and not just to, you know, whoever. Um, you know, if you see an ad on, um, I don't even know, but you know those websites where you have to click through every slide of a slideshow and it, there's no payoff? Yeah. If you have to see those ads, those are just infuriating because they're only going to people who are doing that to you. Um, anyway. So, you know, the whole, maybe you shouldn't be getting monetized because ads are terrible. Go watch a different video. Um, where was I? I told you this was going to be long and they're going to have to be long. I'm like now I have to be incentivized to make longer videos and maybe, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe, um, you know, it's going to cause me to broaden my horizons and learn to do different things and maybe I'll live stream a few more times, you know, because live streams can be good if people watch them. Uh, if you guys are interested in maybe seeing like a live plan with me or something, um, I would be willing to do that. Um, we can we can figure out the logistics there. I know I usually do my planner videos on Thursdays, which is not usually when I'm planning the next week. There are a lot of tangents in this video and I don't think I'm going to edit it. I'd rather not. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get creative, I guess, but I kind of hate that I have to like get creative, that I have to, um, like be told how to make my videos by YouTube. Like they have goals and they're incentivizing certain types of content over others. And I kind of resent that as just a general concept. Like some of the people who are getting hit really bad are like animators who will make like a one to five minute video that takes them a month to make. And they're gonna get much fewer views than somebody who like 
live streams a video game for five hours every day and their content like there's so much more artistry and amazing quality that goes into that animated content than into the video game um i mean arguably but i think most people would agree like that's crazy skill and that's like that's nice of you um yeah uh, i don't know about you guys honestly i have um gathered from some of my analytics that my longer videos tend to do well but that could also just be youtube trying to incentivize me to make longer videos i don't know why they want longer videos it doesn't make sense to me because in my head i'm thinking you watch one 15 minute video or 15 one minute videos but the first case you're seeing one ad and in the second case you're potentially seeing up to 15 ads so i don't know i i don't understand it but um yeah i don't know about you guys and what kind of video length you prefer i guess if i actually get feedback from you about video length then i would maybe prioritize that over what google thinks because i can't trust google <laughs> You know, like it's okay. I'll jump through your hoops. Like I jumped through the first hoop because before I joined YouTube, uh, there was, I mean, I said joined, I haven't had an account since 2007. Um, but before I started making videos, um, anybody really could monetize their videos. I think you just had to like link your cell phone number or something. Um, but then shortly before I started, um, like actually making videos on a regular basis, um, they changed it so that you had to get 10,000 views, lifetime views, um, in order to qualify to be a partner and get ads. And so that was something that I could work for, you know? And from April through June, it was, yeah, it really was only April, May, June. Um, it encouraged me to like, okay, I'm gonna make a new video and I know that each of my videos is getting at least 15 views at that point, you know? Um, so I could kind of go, all right, Let's make another video because some of those people who saw the last one will see this next one and I could, you know, claw my way up to that 10K. Um, and eventually I did. Um, I, it was at the beginning of July that I was able to start monetizing. So from then to now, mid-January, uh, mid I know what month it is, um, I've accumulated about $80 worth of ad revenue. It's not a whole lot and it's not a life-changing amount. But I can't cash out unless I close my AdSense account. Um, yeah. So the sentence started with, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to prefer shorter videos. I like 10 minutes and less, you know, like the three to seven minute mark is golden. Um, just cause like I have life to get on with. And if a video, like, the way I tend to, to do things is I subscribe to people, um, but I don't always subscribe to people. I subscribe to the people who I think I'm going to watch multiple times of. Like, I'm going to want to come back for their more content. Um, and then whenever the videos come up in my subscriptions, I'll add them to my watch later list. And then when I have time to watch videos, I will sit down and I will watch them all, um, you know, or as many as I can. And like, I tend to prioritize or like prefer the shorter videos because like if thought of, it's like, okay, I have some time. Let's watch a YouTube video. Oh, I've got this 38 minute video. I don't know, maybe I'll enjoy it, but like, will I enjoy it 38 minutes worth? Or would it not be better to watch 10 three minute videos? Because each of those is going to have at least a little bit of interest, you know? I don't know. That's just me. And so I started with smaller videos, shorter videos. And I think it was the August setup video that was longer. It was like 20 minutes and it got like a lot of interaction, a lot of views. And that's probably partly because Google was like, hey, a longer video, let's maybe suggest this one to people. So, you know, that skews things. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to start making longer videos if I wanna make sure to stay above that 4,000 hour mark, which by the way is uh, 240,000 minutes. That's one thing that's just frustrating and ridiculous is that they're like, okay, 4,000 hours per year, but they show it on your account as minutes. So you have to do your math for yourself. 
Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, I feel like I, I keep having to circle back to old thoughts that I haven't finished. Um, one thought that I hadn't finished my story, right? Like I, I never was expecting to make lots of money starting out. You know, I like make these baby steps, but they're like noticeable baby steps. You know, I get views, then I get subscribers, then I get monetized. And then I'm like, I'm keeping track. Um, I have like a, a spreadsheet where I'm just like watching the things grow. And I just enjoy seeing the progress of like how much I've saved up and how much um, I can expect, you know, to sort of project into the future and how many people I'm reaching and how much interaction I'm getting. Baby steps, right? And all the while, I'm getting some positive reinforcement in, you know, a couple dollars here and there in my AdSense account. Um, you know, so it's not about, like people say, it's not about the money. It's the principle of the thing. It's not, a, it is, it's not about the actual physical money itself, except that I already earned it and I can't redeem it. And that it's like, it's not about how much money, it's about the fact that Google was telling me your content has value. And now Google is telling me you don't have value anymore. And that hurts. Like that's how it feels to me like okay, you were, you know, getting users to come to our site and you were engaging with people and you were making content that we thought was worth putting an ad on. We thought it was worth you getting some money from that ad because you put quality and time into this video and now you're going to get a little something for it. Not a lot, but a little something. And now they're saying, no, keep working harder. Maybe someday you'll be able to please us. But in the meantime, you're not bad. You're not big enough. You're not, you know, flashy enough. You're not established enough. You're not good enough for this little bit of money and appreciation. It's, it really, really annoyed me that they weren't grandfathering anybody in. Like, I know that if they were gonna make a cutoff that I probably wouldn't make the cutoff um, because I really did start just within the last year, you know? And I've been doing pretty well for only a year of YouTube, you know? I think the, the key that I gave, if anyone's looking for advice, don't do it. Um, if he was looking for advice, the case is consistency, just posting multiple times a week, even if it's just like a, hey, sorry, I couldn't make a longer video today. That's working. Um, yeah, but it's, um, yeah, this is, this is already a long video. This is good. All right. Cause minutes, right? <laughs> I am going to show you my computer screen and I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of my account and where I am with relationship to these goals and if I think I'll make it there and then we'll talk about um, what you and I and all of us can do um, to support small content creators on YouTube. Not just me, like anybody else in the same boat as me. Um, I'm also going to link below a video that Cindy Gunter Baldo does, um, language warning, just on her channel, but um, she made a video earlier this week that I really appreciated, basically saying the same thing. She's not affected by these particular changes, but um, she's like she was pointing out that so many of the people in our niche of planner videos don't have a huge subscriber base. Um, there's just a lot of small channels making good content. Um, and the ones that do have the bigger bases are kind of really flashy and like I don't want to be the person who makes the perfect looking bullet journal spread that never gets used. I'm trying to be real with what I'm showing and you know things like the minimalist bujo month um, or like what I'm doing right now where I'm just being totally honest with you like I have not had a chance to redecorate since before Christmas and I haven't even had like I haven't used any washi tape in the last month I'm just this is what it is. Um, that that's who I am and so it's um maybe it doesn't ap uh, appeal to as many people but if there are a thousand people out there that it does appeal to I would really like to reach those thousand people so um yeah well we're going to talk about that in a little bit but let's take a look at my actual account
Okay, so this is what the analytics page looks like. Um, it's currently showing that like my trends are down for the last month. Um, that's not surprising. This last month has not really been indicative of like the last year. Um, as you all know, I've been crazy busy moving, pregnant, sick, uh, all of it. So yeah, I've, my videos have been um, less exciting for the last month and I so, again, appreciate everybody who's sticking with me. But um, so my estimated revenue this month is 1338. This is the last 28 days, I mean. So that would be like from December 19th-ish or 21st. Um, so it shows me like the, the top videos by watch time. See, not even by views, though it's by views as well. Um, so that's, yeah, like watch time in minutes, see, in minutes. Um, and then this is how many views, this is how long, like, each people watch each video, but that doesn't really indicate anything because some of my videos are three minutes and some are 25. Um, all right, let's look at, let me show you my revenue report. This is, let's see, 2017, or maybe I'll, yeah, 2017, this year. No, the last 365 days, there we go. In the last year, you'll see that I started monetizing here on like July 3rd. And so this is what it's looked like. I looked into it, this was one weird anomaly day where like more than $2 of this 269 um, came from a single view of a single video. I have no idea how, but I'm not complaining. Anyway, so um, as it is like, this is how much is in my account. 81.16 and I can't cash out until a hundred dollars. And so if I get uh, the, you know, 15-ish that I've been getting for the last, um, you know, every last 30 days or whatever. Um, see, last 30 days, 15.36. If I get that, <laughs> that'll just put me at $95. That's fantastic. And I won't be able to cash out until I get a thousand subscribers. So let's see, let's look at watch time. Watch time in the last, yeah, 30 days has been this, minutes. But like I said, it's 4,000 hours. So we're trying to get to 240,000 hours, or sorry, minutes. 240,000 minutes over the past 12 months. So if you look here uh, the last 365 days, last 12 months, you see I had some like older videos before I started really making them like here. Um, but I'm only at 163 over the last 12 months. But you'll see that things really started picking up like in September when I did the uh, bullet journal every day. I also you see they go way up at the beginning of the month when I like post a, a setup video. So that's always fun. Um, so if I look at like just the last 30 days and then do the math on that, it's so 21,172 times 12. If the last 30 days is indicative, then we are over our 240,000. So that's, I'm not worried about it, right? Um, because I know that that's just a matter of time um, and it's only a few more months. Like I'm not happy that I'm missing out on like February to May-ish of monetization, but at least it's something that's like, I know I will get there without changing anything. And um, it's in like this calendar here. Um, it's, it's a reasonable amount of time that I can be like looking at and going, all right, yeah. Um, but subscribers, all right. So it shows you gained, lost, and then net. So 13 people unsubscribed in the last 30 days, you know, whatever reasons, that's fine. Um, so 33 in the last 30 days. If I click over here, um, it shows me I currently have 350 subscribers. So I was right, actually. <laughs> I was exactly right. Um, and so if I take that 350, or if I take the, what, the 1,000 I need, minus the 350 I have, and then divide that by the 33 I got in the last month, 
that would be another 20 months until I have the thousand at this rate, right? Uh, uh, less 90 days, let's see. Yeah, a little bit better, a little bit better. That's uh, 36 per month, so yeah. Eighteen per month or eighteen months, so that's a year and a half. That would be next next June, twenty nineteen, or July, twenty nineteen, June or July, twenty nineteen. So, like the views, I'll get there by May. The subscribers, if nothing changes, then I, it's going to be a year and a half. A year and a half where I'm doing the same thing, I'm making the same videos, I'm putting the same content and quality into everything, and I'm not getting any payoff for it uh, for a year and a half. But I'm hoping that I might be able to do some things to change, so uh, I'm going to turn the camera back on. I had a YouTube account since 2007, but I never started making videos until 2017, like 10 years later. So, you know, I've been... A viewer for a lot longer than I've been a creator and I know we all have different viewing patterns but this is mine I explained about my watch later list and stuff but like I am um, I'll I'll see a cool video and I'm like that's nice and then I click in the sidebar to another cool video and I forget about the last cool video um, and I have in the past like legitimately binged a whole channel before thinking, oh, maybe I should subscribe to this person. <laughs> um, and sometimes it's like I, I watch a whole bunch of their videos, um, but then I just kind of wander off and do something else. I don't subscribe, I forget about them. Um, because really, like at the end of the day, it was all just about how many views they got. Um, and yeah, they probably would have preferred me to subscribe so that I would view more of their new videos, but it was never that, I never saw it as like, what a terrible loss, because, I don't know, it was just, it was the way I viewed things. Um, but that's changing now. I have, since the news on Tuesday, gone through and subscribed to a few new people, a few people that, like, were subscribed to me and I hadn't subscribed back for whatever reason. Um focusing on those that are under a thousand and basically I'm making this like a new <laughs> it's a resolution it has nothing to do with the new year I'm making this my resolution um to just pay attention to the subscriber count of people when I see a cool video um I'm not gonna go and like subscribe to CinemaSins or something because I enjoy one video of theirs um because like they don't need it but um other people that like maybe I've seen one or two videos of theirs. If I notice that they're a good quality video, that they're putting effort in, that they're doing a good job, that there's something that I would want to support, <laughs> then I need to subscribe. To it's like, I, it's doing something now. Subscribing now is actually working towards monetary support. Whereas before, <clears throat> all you had to do was watch a video. Maybe if you particularly like the channel, you like wouldn't skip through the ad right away. Um, you know, because you're like, maybe they'll get a little bit more or whatever. Now, like the way that you do that, that you support them um, with like a, a bit of actual financial support, um, besides like Patreon and stuff, obviously, but the way that you can show that small token support is just by subscribing. And so I'm going to have to change the way that I view my subscription box. Um, I'm basically just going to have a lot of people in there that... Like, it's going to be less, uh, I was going to say discriminating, but what's it when you're being selective? Less selective, I guess. Um, I'm going to be less selective with who I subscribe to because it means something now. When you subscribe to somebody that has less than a thousand subscribers, you are a tenth of a percent that they need to get to where that they can actually make a couple dollars every so often. Um, which I think is worth it, you know, it's worth subscribing, it's worth having maybe a few extra videos that you're not going to watch or have time to watch in your subscriptions every day. Um, I think that's, like, what an ideal world, but that's just, I, I think that's worth it. Um, you know, maybe, maybe in an ideal world, 
YouTube would just have a better sorting algorithm and they would rely less on, you know, people subscribing. But anyway, I'm also going to try to get creative um, with like the kinds of videos I make. I'm going to, um, well, I'd like to see if I can do more, um, well, I say more collabs. I've never done a collab. So maybe reach out to some of the people, if you, any of you watching are interested in doing like a collab and have any ideas, because I currently don't, but I will work on it. Um, I think that could be a really great thing um, to sort of say, hey, look, my 350 people and your 350 people, maybe there's like 100 of those that don't overlap, because really there's a lot of overlap in this community. Um, but hey, if those 100 people, you know, 50 on each side, want to, that's something. Um, so yeah, I, I hope that that might help. Um, and I think I'm going to start advertising more to the sort of people who would be interested in my Sims videos. Um, that series has been sort of its own thing that I just kind of do for fun and it only gets like less than 10 views every week. Um, so if we get a bunch of subscribers from like advertising or whatever that, um, that are just here for the Sims videos and can put up with my planner videos the way that you guys who don't watch the Sims videos put up with my Sims videos, um, then this channel might just be two different things and there's not a lot I can do about that and I can, I guess, apologize. But you, you know, you don't have to watch the videos you don't want to watch. Like I was saying, you subscribe and then you ignore the videos you don't want to watch. Um, I personally am not worried about having to worry about like all of my subscribers watching all of my videos. Um, I will probably be incentivized to make some slightly longer videos like this one, which is over half an hour at this point, I think. Um, which by the way, like, can I give a hug, like a physical hug to anybody who's watched this whole thing? I don't think I would. Like I say, I prefer shorter videos, but I think this is important. And I think that what we can all do, myself included, each of you, like even those of you who are subscribed to me, like look at the people that are subscribed to you, maybe, if you make videos. Look at the people who are, you know, have videos over here. Um, and if you like their videos, you know, even if you just like one or two of their videos, subscribe to them. I hope I'm putting in the right direction. Um, I might not be. I don't remember. <laughs> um, you know, just, yeah, that's, that's my takeaway today, guys, is uh, YouTube might turn around in another six months and say, well, no, actually, now you need a million subscribers and a thousand hours viewed every year. And then there's nothing I can do. Um, because I'm on their turf and I always have been. I'm, I can consider things, other options. Um, I, I'm going to look into like affiliate links uh, if there's something I can do there. I don't know if I can get sponsorships. I'm probably not big enough for that. But um, yeah, I, I never felt like I had anything to offer on Patreon because like, I don't know. I don't really make anything that I feel that I could offer back to donors as like a, you know, a reward, you know, because that's, yeah, I, I would not feel comfortable making a Patreon page without offering rewards. Um, and I can't, I haven't thought of anything that I could really do that. But, um, yeah. So at this point, what I'm just saying is uh, subscribe. Subscribe to everybody. But specifically, hey, if you watch this whole video and you're not subscribed to me, um, there's going to be a little button here at the end of the video, and you should click on that. And there's also one down somewhere here uh, if you wanted to click on that now. Um, and yeah, just thank you guys for your support and your continued viewing and commenting and just being amazing. You guys really are the reason I'm doing this. Um, if I didn't have, you know, my, my constant viewers who comment and who make me feel like this is not just, like I said, me screaming into a void, um, I probably would have just said, forget it, um, and just stopped because it's not, like, it's not worth it if I don't feel appreciated. And since YouTube doesn't appreciate me, at least I know that you guys do, and that means the world. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, my video schedule is not going to change, so you will see me in the next one on Tuesdays, The Sims, Thursdays, planner videos, and then, I don't even know, Sunday is another one of these, 
uh, random rambly ones. So, see you then. Bye.